<laughs> Look at my belly. Oh, shit, the camera's on. It is. <laughs> oh, oh, this view of Adam's belly is brought to you by Shudder. <laughs> That's right, for a free month of Shudder, go to Shudder.com slash NotStupidMovies because we have no sponsors. I think it's because that. Maybe we need to move the chair, you know what I mean? Oh, you yeah, no, like, let's leave it. Just leave it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's gonna drive me nuts. I know, I why I want to leave it. No! <laughs> <laughs> I like watching you have a metal... Men, uh, oh. da, 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 da. Okay. Fucking stupid! Hey! 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 Ooh! Ooh. Me! This mental breakdown has been brought to you by Shudder. Oh. Welcome to Stupid Movies. Uh, fuck. Episode 157. <laughs> Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we watched the sequel to Volumes of Blood, Volumes of Blood 2. Uh, this was another Horror Pack Limited Edition. Yeah, another so. movie you can't watch. Yeah, fuck well, you. You can, but... We're, we're, well, but you'd have to steal it. Well, <laughs> uh, 2016, not rated. 118 yep. minutes. 118 long ass minutes. <laughs> Uh, it's an anthology, obviously, again. Oh. Various directors. Shit, it was? Various directors. Various directors. Two, uh, obviously, that stand out would be PJ Starks, and then uh, this one had Justin Seaman. In yeah, we who, love him. Yes. He's which, done some great movies. He does. The Barn. The yeah. Barn was great. Oh, yeah. man. And PJ Starks, too, man. We fucking love you. Hell yeah. So please don't take any of the rest of this seriously, because we don't. Uh, this starred a bunch of different people. Mm. Um, it did, indeed. Two that had pictures on IMDb <laughs> is... Thomas Dunbar. Yep. And Caleb something. Shope. Shope. Shore. Caleb Shope. Shove? It's your fucking handwriting. All right. So what was it? It was a, okay. it was a lot of stories. I'm going to try my best to explain this. Okay. So it started with... <laughs> and then it cuts out to... Pooping on a poster and drawing penises on things and oh, yeah. from the first movie. Right. The sequel to Volumes of Blood. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that that sums the whole thing up. Uh, mm. so what do we like about this sequel? So I loved how much more gory this movie yeah. was than they, the last one. They upped the gore ante. It definitely. was significantly more gory. Yep. And that was cool. Yeah. And it looked cool. There were some cool kills. Yeah. Uh, but it had like cool sword machete thing that had like, yeah, mm. I don't know. There's a lot of different kind of yeah. cool things. Death by chain, kind of. You get strangled by intestines. Yeah. That was cool. Heads crushed and yeah. truck. Yeah, it was neat. I loved it. And the special effects were pretty much all practical as far as I can tell. No. Seemed like it. And if they weren't, they did really good CG. Yeah. So oh, the dude getting his gut sucked out with the vacuum? Yep. That was fucking cool. That was awesome. That was cool. Yeah, you so got me on that one. The practical effects were awesome. And the makeup looked good. The makeup I mean, was the good. the blood too. looked yeah, good. Yeah. All that. I mean, it was it was gory. It I felt loved it. sticky. It did feel sticky. Really sticky. I, it was good, though. Yeah. yeah. Kind of uh, after you whack and you get a little bit on your left on your hand, you're like, I should probably wash this off. This movie was shot really well. Yes, it was. There was some great camera work. You yep. know, last week we talked about there was one scene that we think was done with the drone that was really, yeah. really beautiful. This week, there was one shot that I'm pretty sure was done with a helicopter, and it was fantastic. Yeah, kind oh of the my beginning. It looked God. awesome. Yeah, so I, I, you know, it was a helicopter, or was it a drone, or what? But it was whatever it was. It was it, a guy standing on a car with very solid hands. You know, there was a, a huge variety of stories here. Yep. To go along with the story, there's yeah. a lot of cool twists kind of throughout some of the stories. Oh, shit, yeah. Um, you know, kind of the... That you don't really see coming. Uh, and the writing, you know, most of it was written by PJ Starks, and he obviously knows what he's doing. He knows how to write. He's a good yeah, writer. You do a great job, um, and you obviously direct really well too. Yeah. You know, so I want to see more of you. So we gotta get this third one made. Send him a picture of your pain. Um, the killers. There were a couple really good ones. The main killer who came back from the first one. The, was great. the mask with the red yeah. eyes. Yeah. Uh, the scarecrow killer from the opening was really cool. Attic Atticus. At Atticus Crow. Crow. Yeah. 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 And. Um, you know, going with that, with Atticus Crow and with, uh, you know, that idea, there were a lot, just like last week, there were a lot of really, really good 
references to oh, other yeah. horror movies. Yeah, it was all, um, yeah, it's like pop culture references, but ninety nine percent were horror movies. So we'll call them like horror culture references. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nods to other movies, posters in the background. Very self aware like that. In the you, th- this was made by horror fans, obviously. Uh, there's some good atmosphere throughout the movie. Yeah. Some of the stories had some good, some not so much, yeah. but as a whole, I thought the atmosphere was pretty decent. Yeah. You know, some of the humor. Oh. I think I may have just sharded. I, I gotta show you this. I have to show you this. I'm gonna take it down. I'll put it back up. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen Ice Age? You know, Sid the Sloth? Tell me that doesn't look like Sid the Sloth with the penis coming off of his face. Right? Right? Ah. We won't tell Rob we did that. I hope this was as interesting to you as it was to me. So anyway, where did we left off? <laughs> there was some really good humor in this movie. <laughs> some of this movie was really, really funny. Yeah, uh, there was up, some... Up front especially, there was some great humor in that. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, the, the character of Dick was funny. Yeah. The horror nerds were funny. Oh, fuck yeah. The horror nerds were us, basically. Yeah. In no. the movie. For sure. And, and the, what cracked me up, though, was in um, the Death Day story or whatever. The two old neighbors. Oh, yeah. Kill people. The old guy who was killing people wore sandals with socks. And they weren't regular sandals. They were like strap-on sandals. <laughs> it was nice to see horror nerds like us right. in a movie. Yeah. This movie had a cameo from of the guys from Bloodbath and Beyond. Yes. Yeah, that was great. They played news people. Yeah. Like news reporters. And, and they were, it was real short. They were on for like, what, 15, yeah, 20 yeah, seconds. That's sure. all you needed. For people who know who that is, we were like, yes, one of us is on the screen. Exactly. If you don't know who they are, they're basically uh, a better version of us. It was well done. So what did we not like about this movie? Um, my biggest, one of my two biggest issues. First, this movie was not nearly as cohesive as the first one. There was just something about it. It did not feel like a solid universe as much as the first one did. My other big, big issue with this was the pacing. Yeah. Uh, especially on the Christmas uh, uh, episode. Or short? What do you want to call it? Yeah. The, uh, the Christmas. The, the, the one Christmas about story. Christmas. The story about Christmas. Yeah. Um, it's the one and only one that wasn't written by P.J. Starks, first of all. I believe, yeah. yeah. Um, according to the credits, which right. I read. Um. And I liked the last five minutes or so. I said the twist at the end was yeah. awesome. From the time where the crazy chick stabs the other chick with the candy canes. with the candy canes and the tits, from that point on, it's a great story. But it took it felt like half an hour. Well, I'm sure it wasn't right, but it, it took felt long. forever to get to that point. If you're gonna watch this when you get to the Christmas one. Fast forward until the carolers show up, mm-hmm. and you'll feel much better about it. I wish that's what we had done. Right. Yeah. But overall, I mean, some of the stories had great pacing. Others just kind of dragged. Yeah, some of and them were a little off. The, you know, the movie is pretty much about two hours long. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it was just a, it was a little too long. That one, I think, is is probably why, maybe. Because yeah. all the other stories, I, I didn't think, felt too long. Or None of them took felt too like long. they were long, except for that one. Yeah. So cut that one in half, maybe. You know, trim maybe about 20 minutes or so. And it would have been yeah. probably wouldn't have fell as long. Yeah. So uh, the the acting <clears throat> was very hit or miss. Like it, there were some really good ones, and then some just weren't that great. So, with all that in mind, what what would you rate this movie? <laughs> all right. Speaking of poop, <laughs> <laughs> this is a shardy party here. <laughs> oh man, that sounds like a horror movie. Um, I'd watch it. I would too. So I lo- absolutely loved the first one, um, and, and I did enjoy this one too. Uh, not as much as the first one. It just wasn't as quick paced, I guess. And what I don't know. Just something about it wasn't as fun, but it still had a lot of fun moments. That's a great way to put it. This movie wasn't as fun as the first. It one. Just, yeah, it's just I don't know really what it was. Maybe it was just because it was a little too long. I, yeah, the other one be. was an hour and a half, which is perfect. Anyway, so but overall, I, I enjoyed it, and I think it was a pretty solid sequel. Uh, and I'm excited to get that third one made. So uh, definitely help out with that. So I'm going to go six and a half out of eight on this one. That's pretty solid still. Yeah. That's, that's still really good. Uh, I, I didn't like it nearly as much as, as you did. And I didn't like it nearly as much as the first one. Um, I, I'm going to give it a five out of eight. And I feel horrible doing yeah, that. That's still solid. But unlike your poop. 
My <laughs> score was solid. <laughs> I'm a little liquidy. No, today. I just I feel bad because I know they put a lot of work into it, and I want to see the third one get made too. Right. It's just you captured something fucking phenomenal in that first one. Yeah. And this one did not have that. Yeah, it's just missing something. Yeah. But still, overall. It was missing a lot of something. Yeah. If it had been just like one thing, one little thing here, one little thing there, like, oh, the music wasn't as good, or oh, this wasn't as good, it would still get a really high score. But there were a lot of things missing. The fun was the yeah. biggest thing. It yeah, just yeah. wasn't as fun. Our shout out this week is Bloodbath and Beyond. I mean, mm. those guys are awesome. Uh, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Check them out on YouTube. I mean, they're on Patreon. They're on Instagram. I'm sure they're on Facebook too. Uh, Jay, Bon, and uh, John. Jay and John, yep. the double J's. You can't remember his last name, can you? They're like um, us, but good. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah they're they're similar to what we do, uh, but they're a lot more serious, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, and you know, but they, I can't imagine either one of them saying boobies. <laughs> yeah, check them out on YouTube at that link. Yeah, just go on YouTube and search search Bloodbath. You know, they'll pop right up. Yeah, yep, for sure. Uh, support any horror. Speaking of that, Volumes of Blood yes. Three. They they got Indiegogo. We said this last week. We're gonna say it again here. Go there, do it. Twenty five dollars, you can get stuff. They have other stuff you can do. Do it. Do it. Do it. I feel like I'm an 80s hair band. Um, you're going to get dizzy. Dude, I am dizzy. <laughs> That's because you're old. So, definitely what he said. Go check them out. Uh, support them. Give them money so they can make Volumes of Blood 3. Because I think the third one will be the best of, of the three. I agree. I, I really do. I, yeah. I think it's going to be even better than the first one was. Yep. Um, and yep. even if it's not... But it's better than the second one. It's still fucking phenomenal. Yeah, exactly. So, so go support it, man. Do your part! And you can check us out on... Facebook.com slash, slash Stupid Movies. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram at Stupid Movies, at The Horror Punk, at Dr. Sketch Center, stupidmovies.outlook.com. Go there, do it. Do the things. Do the thing. Like, subscribe, comment. Tell your friends about us. If, if you have any friends that you want to get rid of, yeah. Like, you don't like them anymore? Be like, hey, you need to go check these guys out. Do and it. We can guarantee you they won't be your friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or tell them to watch Bloodbath and go probably choose them over us. Ah, I would. Yeah, it, Fuck, it, man, I watch Bloodbath more than I watch us. I know. <laughs> me too. It is what it is. Ah, we're all the same moral community. We're all cool. Go, Indy. Why can't people understand? I got a short attention.